Think about what you're going to say and make it real. Think about what you're going to say and make it real. Public speaking tip number 11. That's 10 plus 1. Or should I say 10 plus 1. Think about what you're going to say and make it real. <laughs> yeah. So you drafted the closing. We've, we, 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 in the last video, we, we used the analogy of the bus, you know, you on the bus. Occasionally, I wish that I, I think that maybe we should have said you in a classroom on the stage. You thought about exactly what you wanted to say when your presentation or your speech was over. You, you got the right words crafted for point B. You went back and you looked at point A and you figured out exactly what you wanted to say to get the audience engaged, to capture their attention. And now it's time to draft the body. It's time to clarify the journey. Point A, point B, point C. How do we get them? How do we get them from here to there or there to here, whichever way you want to go? How do we do that? How do we make it real? And well, you already know you're going to share a couple of stories. But before we even go there, here's how you make it real. Here's how you make it real. Make it good for the audience. You ready? Yeah. Add in a few interesting facts, figures, quotes, anecdotes, and visual aids. Facts, figures, quotes, anecdotes, and visual aids. AIDS. We're going to make it real. We're going to bring it to life. Now, this is what you do. You already knew in the beginning. We talked about, hey, keep it simple. Keep it short. Right. Get to the point. Get to the point. Make your message. Share a few interesting facts, figures, quotes and anecdotes. Here's what happens. You know where you want to take them. You know the stories that you want to share. And not all of your stories. You know, we said uh, originally we said story, point, story, point, story, point. Well, you can Augment some of your stories with interesting facts, figures, quotes, and anecdotes. Yeah, facts, figures, quotes, and anecdotes. Everyone likes it. Statistics. Everyone loves statistics. You want to make it real? Give them a statistic. Give them a statistic. You know, there's one statistic that I love, and it's from the book, Think and Grow Rich. Think and Grow Rich. And it, this, the statistic says that 90 percent 96 percent of people will never accomplish their dream they'll never they'll never achieve true success they'll never accomplish their success to be wealthy rich or something to, something to that effect you don't i've got the book i got the book somewhere around around here somewhere the book is all right the book's in the office so i won't pull it out the book but what, what are your facts what are your statistics what are your statistics? I saw another statistic. It said 80%, over 80% of college graduates are not working in the field of their degree. You've probably seen that one. Give them, give your audience. You got to think about this, right? What facts, statistics are you going to give your audience to do me a favor? Because as I spew these off, this is very off the cuff and impromptu. Today's session is very off the cuff and impromptu. So I don't have all of my, my statistics written down in front of me to share them with you. <laughs> you know, I have a friend and she's going to see this and she's going to say, Ernie, that statistic, that, that statistic wasn't right. And, and here's what you do, friends. If you don't have the, the statistic 100 percent right, blame it on somebody else. <laughs> say that, hey, according to CNN. I won't go there. I won't go there. CNN gives us a lot of great facts and statistics. They even give us Pinocchios and all this good stuff. Listen, your audience, they love statistics. Give them a statistic or two. Helps add credibility to your message. You give them some facts. Some people love to hear the facts. They love facts. Other people, they love testimonies. I love testimonies because a testimony, that's a personal story. Now, it can be a story of your personal story, or it can be someone else's personal story, someone's personal story that you heard. And you can just regurgitate it and share it with your audience. Facts, testimonies, examples, give them quotes. You know, in the last video, I shared a quote from Maya Angelou. You know that quote, it says that people won't remember what you said. They won't remember everything that you did. But they'll always remember how you made them feel. <laughs> I said that Maya Angelou said that. That's exactly, that's, I, that's one of my favorites. I love it, right? 
share with some quotes, share a few quotes that augment the points that you want to make throughout your presentation. Share it with them. Give them a few anecdotes. And when I say anecdotes, I mean personal stories. Give them a, a personal story of one or two or three. Give them some, right? Give them a personal story, an anecdote. Give them a few facts, figures, quotes that are relevant to the message that you want to share. And then don't, don't forget this one. Bring in some visual aids. Bring in a few visual aids to help make the message interesting. This is how we make it real for the audience. This is how we capture their attention and make them feel it, believe it. Testimonies are great. Stories, they're great. Good quotes and anecdotes, they're great. Bring them in. Add the statistics into your presentation. Make it good. Do that. Think about it. Which ones work best with the stories that you want to share? Which ones make be work best for the basic message that you want to share with your, your audience? Jot down a few. Memorize them. And if you can't remember them, hey, write them down on a, a card. A card. And listen, if you're going to use cards, don't use the small cards. Don't use the small cards for your quotes. Get a big card. Get a, this, this, this is a big card. It's a big card. Get a... You know, this isn't the little four by, this isn't, what, what are the, what's, the, what's the little ones, four by fives or something? This one here, this is like a five by six. I can write on this card very big, and you can do that. Make the notes big. Write them, on, write them down big. Put some laminating paper on that card so it doesn't get all wrinkled up and balled up as you go from venue to venue to share your quotes. Utilize it. You don't have to read from it. Memorize it. Memorize the quotes. It's okay to memorize the quotes. But listen. If you got a lot of stuff on your mind like I do, you can't memorize everything. So we use cards, write it down, feel free. <laughs> Let your audience know, hey, I'm getting old. <laughs> I, I, sometimes I can't remember everything the way that I want to remember it. So when I have something extremely important to share, I write it on a note card. Just like this one here. It says, think about the facts, figures, quotes, and anecdotes that you can use to add credibility and make it real. Make it real. And don't forget to use visual aids. You do that. That's tip number 11. Public speaking tip number 11. Think about what you're going to say and make it real. Make it real by adding in a few good facts, figures, quotes, anecdotes, testimonies, visual aids. Don't forget those. Don't forget the visual aids. We're going to talk about those down the road. Don't forget them. Make it real for the audience. Make it something that they're interested in, something they can live with. Facts, figures, quotes, anecdotes. Woo, it gets good. Hey, I don't know if you've got the book, but it's written in the book. That's my copy. Where's your copy? <laughs> I wish I could show you the other one, but a friend came by and he picked that one up earlier. I've got to get another one so I can start showing it on the video. Here's it's gone. Here's mine's. Where's yours? Luckily for you, it's still available on Amazon.com. It's available at powerhousemotivations.com forward slash 11 Steps to Powerful Presentations. I think it's even available on iTunes. Yeah, we're doing it. That's number 11. Think about what you're going to say and make it real. I'll see you on the next quote, the next tip. Ha, peace out, friends. We're good.